guys welcome back to the channel and yes the future is here or at least according to elemental because they are on the verge of releasing their very own ai and we all know that artificial intelligence is all the rage nowadays which are gpt and elemental have decided to join in the game and they're going to be releasing their own ai designed to help you build websites a lot faster and of course generate better content for your blog posts now when will the ai be officially released i do not know what i'm going to show you here is actually the alpha version it's still work in progress so i'm going to give you a sneak peek as to what to expect once the ai has been officially released so a big shout out to elementor for giving me early access i do appreciate them for doing so I have worked with the AI, I've tested it out and it's pretty awesome and that's why I've decided to make this video and I hope you're going to love the AI as much as I do. So let me show you what I'm going to do right now. First of all, let's generate some content using the AI, all right? I'm going to drag the header element in here as you would normally. However, notice that we now have a button right here, a link that says write with AI. So I'm going to click in there. Now it's connecting to the AI and now we have a prompt. Okay, well would we want to create? Is it going to be a catchy slogan, uh, a strong section header, a blog title for? I'm going to go with the last one that says, write an attention grabbing title for. So I'll click in there and let me just go with something like uh, cooking, just as an example, right? So we're going to tell the AI to give us an attention grabbing title for a blog post about cooking. And there you go, sizzle and spice, mastering the art of cooking. Okay, I like it. Let's use the text now. Let's generate some actual content for the blog post. Again, I'm going to go to my elements, drag the text editor in here. And again, I'm going to go with write with AI. And once again, we have different kinds of prompts. I'm going to go with create a blog post for, and now I'm going to say cooking. Let's go ahead now, generate the text. And now I'm going to show you something really, really cool. Yes, the AI will give us the content for the blog post. However, you do have other options like changing the tone and even translating the text to about 26 different languages. Okay, we've got the blog post right here. We can decide to make it longer, make it shorter, simplify the language, fix spelling and grammar. And then right here, you can change the tone to formal, uh, nostalgic, motivational, playful and so on. This is pretty awesome. And then of course you can translate to a variety of different languages. This is really awesome. I cannot wait to test this out and create actual content, but I'm going to drag a different window in here where I'm going to show you something really cool about the AI because the AI has the ability to create special effects for our text images and so on. Now I've already prepared this right here, all this content right here. I'm going to sh show you something really cool. Let's start off with the image right here. Okay. By the way, if you're trying to add an image right now with the AI, you see right here, it's going to say coming soon. So my belief is that very, very soon, eventually you will be able to create images using the Elementor AI. I'm guessing how it will work is that you simply describe the kind of image you're looking for. Maybe you want an image of a man holding a, a bottle of wine or something like that. And then the AI will generate the image for you. At least I'm guessing that's how it's going to work. However, let me show you something really cool. Okay. I'm going to choose my image right here where I am paragliding. I'm going to go over to advanced, come down here to custom CSS. And then right here, you can see I can code with AI. Basically I can add special CSS animation effects. I've clicked in there and now it's saying, okay, what would you like us to do for you? I'm going to go with the very first option in here on hover, animate 20% bigger and then rotate 10 degrees counterclockwise. Let's choose that one. Let's generate the code. And now take a look at this. Remember it's on hover. So we're going to have to hover our mouse on the image before it works. I'm going to click on insert. Now this is the image where now if I put my mouse right there, do you now see that just like that? We have added a special CSS animation effect on the image. And then right here, we can begin to alter a few of the values. Like instead of 1.2, maybe we can make it a lot bigger to like 1.9. Now you can see the image is a lot bigger and so on. Pretty cool, right? You can do so many really cool stuff with it. Now I'm going to show you something pretty awesome with the Usain Bolt uh, image in here. Okay, I'm going to click on the Usain Bolt image, go to custom CSS. Again, click on code with AI. 
Now, Usain Bolt, obviously, he's running, okay? So, we're going to make him run from the right to the left. So, instead of using the prompt, you can actually type in your own prompt as well. So, I'm going to say, make the image uh, move horizontally, just like that, horizontally, okay? Let's go ahead right now, generate the code, and let's wait for a few seconds for the AI to connect and give us the code to insert. We've gotten the code, insert, and there you go. You can see right now, basically moving, moving, moving. We can alter this actually. I'm gonna go back in here again. Let me just remove the code. Let's try something else. Go back to code with AI. And then I'll save this. Okay, check this again. I'm going to say make the image move horizontally in a loop. Okay, so I've added an additional uh, parameter in there. So let's see what it's going to do for us right now. So the point I'm trying to show you here is that a lot will depend on what you actually type in, obviously, right? So insert and now there you go. It's in a loop, right? You can see right now he's moving, he's moving quickly and of course right here we can change the values like instead of five seconds let's make it a lot faster let's make it two seconds now he's moving a lot faster and so on so this is really 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 awesome however i need to show you uh something okay the ai isn't perfect yet what what do i mean here if i go to the header right here uh unleashing the dark side and i click on edit heading and i go to custom css and i go to you know code with ai and let's say I wanted to add uh, a 3D shadow effect to the text. I click, I click in there and I click on generate code. Uh, for some reason, the first time I tried it, it actually worked. It did provide a 3D effect for the text, but now you can see it's not working. So obviously, of course, this is work in progress. It's not yet the perfect version of the AI. I'm pretty sure once the official version is released, uh, issues like this will be fixed. So. Pretty, pretty exciting. I cannot wait to test out the official version of the AI once it's released. And there are other things you can do as well, also including uh, the HTML element. Don't let me forget with the HTML element. So let me quickly show you really, really, really quick. Uh, let's come down here to HTML. So again, with the HTML element, you simply go to code with AI and you will have different prompts like you can embed uh, videos from YouTube, embed a PDF file. Uh, you can add the iframe code for Spotify, uh, embed a uh, code from Google Analyt Analytics or Facebook Pixels, and so on. So, really, this is just incredible. I know that uh, there are some of you out there who have your issues with Elementor because it's, you know, it's a bit slow or there are better page builders out there and so on. It's that's entirely your own opinion. But one thing you cannot deny is that Elementor are constantly innovating new stuff and this for me is a game changer the fact now that elementor have their very own ai that can generate content for you you can add special effects to your images your text and so on this is simply incredible simply brilliant and i cannot wait for the official version of the ai to be released and of course you can be sure that once the official version has been released i will make a full tutorial describing how to use the ai uh, in all its glory so i'm really excited to hear from you are you excited about the ai do you plan to use it are you going to stick with elementor or are you going to use a different page builder i'd love to hear from you if you have any comments or questions of course put them down in the comment section below i'll do my best to answer you a special shout out to elementor once again for giving me early access to the ai my name is alex of course if you enjoyed this video do give it a thumbs up share the video with anyone who may feel might benefit from it and of course if you're new here to the channel i do make content around wordpress and elementor obviously so please do subscribe and hit the bell so that you're notified whenever i upload a new tutorial so stay, stay safe out there and i'll see you soon cheers